Hello everyone. Today the topic is going to be backups. An important part of making sure that when you have data, well, that you keep on to your data because occasionally in life things can go wrong and sometimes yeah, well you will need some form of contingency. If you've got important data, whether it's for work or you know, for sentimental reasons or to engage in a hobby, then, well, if that information suddenly disappears, then you've got, well, that can be bad. Some businesses have been known to completely cut business from the amount of data they've lost. That's so it's an important thing to be aware of. I mean, so, so that's important. And there's so many different ways that things can actually happen. I mean, if you've got, you know, whatever location you're at, there could be things like you know, fire or flood could happen, damage computers, or an accident could otherwise you know, physically damage a computer. I mean, if you manage to make sure that none of that happens, then sometimes a, well, a hard drive might actually just fail on its own. Being full of moving parts that move quite a lot, a lot more than you probably realize, while they can last quite a long time, eventually, parts wear down. So if you've only got data in one place, then then if that place becomes inaccessible, then you've got yeah, quite a lot of problems. Other things that can attack your data. There are certain malware attacks that can do so. I mean generally yeah, you know, malware is designed to, in some way, make money. You know, it's going to be a purpose behind what it does, and so while that would usually involve more likely stealing data, sometimes there is ransomware which does actually well encrypt your data, tell you you can't access it until you pay some money into an account or something like that. Generally, an account set up in some way to be hard to trace and such. Often that's using not literally nor banking currency, but would be some alternate currency. Bitcoin's been used for that, which Which does, of course, make Bitcoin a little, doesn't really have a reputation, but that's a discussion for another time. I mean, something that's got the data on could, in some cases, literally be stolen or vandalized for various reasons. I mean, well, particularly any lightweight phone or computer or laptop would are often quite popular targets with theft because, well, easy to steal and easy to sell. And so that's a lot of the basics of what's likely to actually get rid of your data that you really want to keep. In terms of what actual strategy we therefore want, well, there's what's generally referred to as a 3 to one rule, in which you have three backups, two locations, and one offline. Now, in this case, of course, having three backups is very useful because one goes down, then you've got the two others, and, well, the more 
packets you have, the safer it is. But obviously there's a point in which how much effort do you make in terms of getting secure? You know, what's a sensible amount backups to do in terms of balance of effort and security? Well, three is a good line. And you want at least two locations because, as I said before, one thing that can cause data loss is, well, a computer being damaged, but it's generally damaged to a site. You know, if it's a fire or a flood, then yeah, if, if a place has something really bad happen to it, which you hope it doesn't, but while well, you hope that doesn't happen, the entire subject of backups is entirely about things you don't want to have happen. And one is recommended to be offline, particularly in the case of incidents like malware attacks, because then if you've got something that is well, attacking data that's connected, and then if it spreads for a network, then if it's offline, if you've got an offline backup, that can't be affected. I mean, in terms of, of course, then, what if you had a malware that was kind of lying in wait and such, so that you had activations of backup? Well, it's generally advised to have. Well, multiple backups in terms of what time it is. And generally, it's the way you generally do it is one way that's considered a good idea is having like a daily backups and then one like, and then just having one for that week and then as time goes on, then it's just for a month. And so, so you're not literally backing up every day, just the most recent days, and then further away from that from the time, it's gradually getting less individual backups because the more historical data is, the less likely you are to need the immediate sudden backup. And well, then there's the subject of what methods of backup do you have? I mean, those basic options are getting like a spare hard drive that you put things in that you're not having under constant use so that keep that secure that a plate of dust not going to get to it. And that should be usable in case of self problems if something happens. I mean, tape backups generally less of a thing now. The sheer volume of data and the speed of data is produced makes it less common in most places. Sometimes that's you. I mean, Another option, of course, in terms of manually backing up solutions is is the old course getting rewritable CDs or well, you CD now just DVDs for the capacity, which also then had the benefit of if you're just, if you're just using recordable once ones, then once you've recorded it that data is completely solidly just on there and isn't going to change. I mean, you could also use, well, cloud storage as a backup. When using cloud storage, it's generally also backed up generally in case, you know, in case the cloud service provider itself experiences a problem. In these cases, they can restore quite quickly. Oh. 
and with certain clouds, we would give Google Docs, for example, a lot of documents that then have vision history built into it, which is and slightly different, but again, if something gets changed and you want to, you to go back to an old version, that's going to be quite easily done there. I mean, in terms of actual truly secure solutions, what you'll want, you can get. You can get a subscription to a backup service where I'll provide you with dedicated hardware that can plug into your computer and manage the backup through that. That will then back up securely. They can hold it. Online instances and, and such solutions generally tend to come with also ransomware protection built in and that will provide a complete peace of mind in well, any situation with, with a managed solution then you can have all of your concerns taken into account now so that's the basics of backups and how you and the why you'd want to back up, what you have to worry about, and the options for backing up. If you've got any questions or would like a bit more detail in terms of specific elements of what I've been talking about here or in any previous video, then let us know in the comments. Okay. Bye.